I can give you an example from Amanda Jatisa's My Sweet Girl. At one point, she says, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit, she had to go and get her hair done because the roots were showing, the curl was wrong, oh, and it's so expensive and it takes so long. Oh, and everybody there, their striped hair like skunks. That's me saying that, that wasn't hers. <laughs> oh, I hate fakes. The irony in that, she's going to make herself something she isn't, but she hates fakes. That comes back, that's almost foreshadowing in the entire story because a lot of what's driving her is the self-loathing that she has to maintain this lie and it's like she's full up, she can't do it anymore. She's been doing it for decades. That's an especially nice one because it's so subtle and you can get to that line in your first read through and think, oh, the idea here is just that she's a hypocrite without investing it in any deeper meaning than that. Exactly. And pretty superficial too, right? Yeah. A superficial yeah. hypocrite. Yeah. Haven't we all sort of been there? Like we spend time getting nice for going out, for example, and then we see a, a woman there who's just a little over the top and saying, ooh. <laughs> How much time did they spend getting ready? And meanwhile, someone who sees you on a day-to-day -day basis is looking at you and saying, yep. and she put on the dog. Yeah. And it doesn't negate the value of also having it portray her possibly as a superficial or hypocritical person, but can kind of be serving two purposes. It's extra special when it's serving the two purposes. Yes. And it creates empathy because- yep. We may not have had that exact feeling, but we've, we get having that feeling.